what is going on YouTube welcome to another video if you're new make sure you subscribe make sure you like because Madden 21 is getting a patch update and we are going to go over all of the new patch updates there's gonna be updates in ultimate team face of the franchise franchise mode and there's also going to be updates coming to the yard but before we get into all those specific ones I want to just talk about general gameplay updates that will be happening all around every game mode so first let's start with general gameplay updates so first there's going to be a lot of updates to the pass rush now we're going to fix an issue preventing defenders in contain from staying into contain when being blocked by a running back in the backfield there will also be a fix to an issue that causes the initial pass rush move to contain players that take them to the inside gap instead of the outside gap and other fixes can, um, that includes quarterback contained versus play action plays. So, you know, this is something that they seem to get wrong almost every year as far as the pass rush and the contain. A lot of problems have happened with the contain. They're not going outside, they're staying inside, so it looks like there's going to be a fix to that in this update, hopefully. Another thing that's coming to defense is defensive coverage. There's an issue now that if you're in a twins formation or a slot formation and you motion, an offensive player the defense just completely swaps who they're supposed to be covering leaving one side of the field or one receiver completely uncovered that's going to be fixed in this patch update as well as well as um, cover four quarters the, that play is getting burnt by a lot of um, difficult plays like PA crossers or other um, plays that go across the field they're gonna make cover three cover four much better in the game also well I say there's some fixes to tackling there are some fixes to tackling. There's going to be some tackling issues that are going to be fixed. Um, juke and journal moves, some of them are a little overpowered. There's also going to be a fix of an issue causing the quarterback to not react after throwing an interception. They're going to fix an issue allowing ball carriers to fake out defenders behind them when using a spin move. And there's going to be new logic for the throwing out of a sack animation. Um, when a defender is hitting a quarterback on his throwing arm, the quarterback will no longer be able to throw the ball. The quarterback will be forced to tuck the ball or the ball will be fumbled and there also will be an increase to the fumble chance for quarterbacks throwing out of a sack that are hit significantly before they have started their forward arm movement and that's going to depend on the defender's tackle versus quarterback's strength strength rating discrepancy in favor of the defender then there's going to be a higher chance of a fumble so that is going to be coming to the game oh more um, fixes to blocking are going to be added in this patch um, there's going to be, there was an issue with graphical distortion occasionally being displayed over blocker resistant bars. That's going to be fixed as well as an issue that was preventing the left tackle from blocking the correct defender when running halfback zone weak plays against 3-3-5 and you know a lot of people run 3-3-5. There's also going to be fixes to an issue where hitting R, the right trigger, excuse me, at the snap would sometimes result in the quarterback instantly throwing to the X receiver, you know, double hitting X, as well as tuning to give the user control sooner after an interception which has been a big problem people are not able to control where they run after an interception that is finally being addressed now let's head to the more specific game modes first let's start an ultimate team there's going to be improvement to the speed in the menus of man and ultimate team and returning from game modes we all know that this takes too long to be in the auction house it takes too long to get from game to game or make moves in ultimate team that was patched originally when the game came out and that's going to be another patch that's coming to the game as well as an issue where items in the lineup screen would initially show as 50 and 50 and also many other miscellaneous improvements to the menu and improving the speed when interacting with your players and items during upgrades. Now let's move to another game mode, the um, face of the franchise um, updates. There's going to be general stability improvements throughout face of the franchise. There's also an issue where you let the fate decide option when getting drafted but you always get picked by the Bears. So finally they're going to fix that and make it a little more random. They're going to fix an issue with the user's difficulty setting reverting to rookie after every game. So that's something that players have been seeing when you're playing face of the franchise that it's too easy because even if you put the difficulty up it automatically goes back down to rookie and that isn't fun because it's not competitive. Um, not only f there's going to be more franchise updates, not just face of the franchise, but the franchise updates are tuning to an X Factor abilities for users who select the active roster option when starting a new franchise save, as well as uh, the next franchise update blog will be released around the start of the NFL season and will outline current plans and target timing for the first of three planned franchise mode updates for Madden NFL 21. So the fix um, Madden franchise um, trend may finally have some results. Um, it looks like they're going to lay out a new plan that um, is going to target these updates and try to make franchise mode better and hopefully they can do that. 
Um, lastly, the new game mode, the yard. Now there's going to be a lot of fixes coming to the yard and that's going to be an addition of a friends board to the yard and also leaderboards populated by your friends list that will display the highest score per event. So this is kind of like when you can go and look at your, um, you know, like a head to head friends list or something where you can go say, oh, let's see how they did. Let's see how he did, you know. And also addition of a pop up remind those playing this computer events that they need a full group to play. Um, a couple other fixes here. There's going to be a fix to the issue where location icons may not appear. Um, they're going to fix an issue where the full list of house rules might not appear. There's also going to be an issue where users may see finding teammates after leaving a session. Um, there's going to be a fix to an issue where coach cam always shows a cap as being quarterback 12. Um, they're going to fix to the pass leading for the slot receiver's drag wheel route and crossfire. So that's a specific play in the yard. Um, they're going to fix a minor camera issue where the view was blocked by objects. There's also an issue allowing an extra play after a fumble that went out of bounds on the last play of the game. Um, what else? There's going to be basically online stability improvements and general menu and interface improvements as well as a fix to an on-field trainer issue displaying um, the word flick above the ball carrier that is appearing after they catch a pass in the yard. So look, there's general updates to the yard, ultimate team updates, general fixes, bug fixes all around. I'd say the most important fixes though of this patch is definitely the speed and the game menus for Ultimate Team. That'll help with the lag time. Um, it's going to fix the interception thing as well. Um, the contains really need to be fixed. The contains have been terrible. They either are way too overpowered or they don't do their job. They're running inside. They're getting blocked by running backs. They're not containing. So they're going to fix that. And also, offensively, there's been a lot of problems with people who have figured out how contains can be a glitch or a nano blitz almost in a way where your running back just won't pick them up. They just kind of are blitzing rather than actually playing their contain responsibilities. So I think that, along with the yard updates, this is going to be a good patch update. Now, there's also many other improvements we'd like to see throughout the game, and hopefully EA will get that hint as far as face of the franchise mode, making franchise mode better. And hopefully we will already... Um, or hopefully next time we will see that. I mean, we already have seen some progress. EA has came out and said that they are willing to make these changes. They're talking about what they're going to do in the future, and they usually never do that. So that's really good to see. I hope you guys like the video, and also hit the subscri subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when more content comes out because you want to stay up to date with the ma latest Madden 20 news. Thanks, guys.